yell at her. Otherwise, she wouldn't fucking yell at me. Especially when I hear Caden, one of her fucking sons, when I hear one of Carolyn's kids straight up say, I wish Josh was our dad. He's cool. That kind of warmed my heart a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, oh, that's pretty sweet. Too bad it's never going to happen, little guy. The only reason I put up with you miserable fuckers is because I'm friends with Scotty. That is it. The only reason... How do I... Excuse me. How do I do that? She says... She asks. I don't know how you do it. It's simple, really. When I haven't had a girlfriend in, like, literally almost... Literally almost three years at this point. I'm not even stressing it. You know, I'm more focused on my career and enjoying my life. I'm not going to let being single depress me. And something I've realized, YouTube, is that women definitely think I'm attractive. I'd have to be super... I doubt it. No, it would be nice to meet a girl I'm attracted to, and she's attracted to me sexually and mentally, but it's not going to happen. That's wishful thinking. Look at me. I'm a disgusting, ugly fuck. Frustrating when everyone and their mama is telling you, you need to get laid. Oh, gothic King Cobra needs some pussy. Oh, gothic King Cobra needs to get laid. Ignore them. I like getting pussy as much as the next heterosexual, but making money. Fuck, is it so hard for me to get a girlfriend in this town? Three reasons. One, I'm autistic. Two, some of the girls in this town are kind of picky. And three, I don't have a car. That may be too far, but it's the fucking truth. Society acts offended by anything sexual in nature. Society will act super offended if it's sexual in nature, but then turn around and shove it in our face. How does that work? And furthermore, I'm tired of people saying Josh needs to get laid. Most Carolyn, even though I wanted to so badly and I was so close to doing it, it would have felt so good. All the bullshit from trolls picking on me, all the bullshit and frustration from not having any pussy for so long, it would have come boiling out in my fist and I would have laid her the fuck out. Dang rivers are flowing. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. That is fucking, fucking funny. Holy shit, that is hilarious. God damn, talk about a warlock in a fucking desert. Why do you say that? Dry spell. The water in my cup. Hold on a second. Oh, look at that. I just got my dick wet on Facebook Live. I mean, bro, how's the poontang treating ya? Bro. <laughs> Oh, dude, just want to fucking beat people up, man. Fucking god damn it. It's like having the world's worst nicotine fit for eight long, miserable fucking months. And people are sitting there doing this. Oh, doesn't that tobacco look good? Yeah, you want some too fucking bad? If you haven't been laid in six, seven, eight months, and your friend just got out of a shitty relationship, and they're bragging about all the pussy they're tapping. And they try to sit there saying it's not even like that, but when you're sitting there telling me, oh yeah, she this chick, yeah, I banged her. She this chick, oh, I'm gonna bang, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And they're going, okay, I got a big dick. I got the big muscles. I play a mean guitar. How the fuck do I not have a girlfriend? I'm excellent with kids, and I'm excellent with animals. I hear Caden. One of her fucking sons. When I hear one of Carolyn's kids straight up say, I wish Josh was our dad. He's cool. That kind of warmed my heart a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, oh, that's pretty sweet. Too bad it's never going to happen, little guy. The only reason I put up with you miserable fuckers is because I'm friends with Scotty. That is it. We're never going to score. It's just not going to happen. We're just going to get old like these people. But they probably scored. Hey, I'm more than you. Sit down. It's like this chick's a slut. And look at this guy. He's old, but he's probably scored a million times. Oh, yeah. But not us. We're never going to score.